what you've been waiting for. We haven't been waiting, we have been preparing. In fact, we've been hired as consultants by Axe Capital to help them win. And this video will be our recommendations. We will go back for the series to base our recommendations on the strengths and weaknesses of the company. We are up 32% year to date and we are open to all money making ideas. In season one, we get to understand what made the company successful in the first place. He wrote the story, now he's out, which means you need to be out, in fact, short. But also the origin of its crisis and troubles with the low. Phones down. We're SEC compliance. There's a fundamental lie at the heart of the company. Everyone has access to the information, we just know how to analyze it better. That's bullshit. In reality, their edge is an information advantage. It's like this boardwalk pipeline move. What supported it? Okay, it was based on an unsolicited tip. I got a tip. And the pharmaceutical trades. That was phone a tip. That type of edge is not sustainable, not reliable, not scalable, and probably not legal. As a consultant, we recommend focusing on that information advantage, but finding it from a different source, one that not everyone can access, such as public web data. Web data is a type of alternative data used by hedge funds, and we will show its application through the next series. In fact, Taylor is already using alternative data in season two. I'm Taylor. My pronouns are they, theirs, and them. They're browsing the web to conduct sentiment analysis on the company. It's not the type of information that feeds automatically on your Bloomberg terminal. It's information you have to look for. After your dispute with Krakow, I presumed roiling antipathy. So I cataloged all of his public statements going back two years. The problem is they're doing it manually. They're just Googling stuff, watching a video to understand how the tone is evolving, for example. It's not scalable and it's a waste of time. The information used by Taylor is exactly that, public web data. So how do we scale that? We're getting the help of Bright Data, the sponsor of this video, to source the data and transform it into an industrial process. So instead of watching the videos on YouTube, we can access a public web data scraper. Here we have a pre-made template. We can input keywords and we get all the relevant videos in a dataset format. We can then process this, extract keywords from titles and transcripts and count them or even apply natural language processing techniques. That would provide automated, scalable intelligence on the companies or the sectors that Axe Capital is targeting. The next step in Taylor's investigation is to dig into... You found out which satellite company Krakow uses. AR Metrics. Let's assume the ARmetrics.com website has publicly available satellite images that we're interested in. Assuming Krakow would be the biggest user. Well, the most viewed images. You deduce that's what he's been looking at. There will be tons of information. We do not want to browse through them one by one. We can again scrape the data and process it. But Taylor is not a developer. However, it's 2023, so we can use ChatGTP to help with the code. And that's what is provided. And then through the scraper, we will apply that and extract the data. That will be our second recommendation. Now, season three is the most exciting from our perspective. This is where we really talk about hedge fund strategies in particular. Quant is another word for systemized ordered thinking represented in an algorithmic approach to trading. Because Taylor is now the CIO. The quants. Why? Why now? And they really understand the situation that Axe Capital is in. Our edge is gone. They know that you can no longer find an edge with public market data. There are a bunch of quants already out there on the market already working that edge. Everyone has access to that. That's why ours has to be better. In this case, a better edge means different data. There are many ways to build that edge with public web data. For example, you can get insights into consumer behavior, or you can browse through the data sets of the likes of Amazon and eBay to understand the trends or the feedback on specific products, and that will ultimately affect the stock price of the company. A third recommendation is to integrate various data feeds into the decision-making process of the traders that will provide up-to-date data from various sources that can create a sustainable trading edge. In season four, the big deal was that Axe Capital was exploring private market opportunities. 
We're mixing into private equity for real. A strategy that's been popular with hedge funds such as Tiger Global Management. I got everybody downstairs generating ideas. But the team is struggling, and there's a reason for that. They're used to public stock markets. You haven't said yes to any of them yet. You can find an edge by processing data on private companies at scale with websites like Crunchbase, a depository of all the private deals. You can then use that to identify sectors, companies, and again, fit it into your decision process. They have a dozen internal ideas you've turned down. So instead of having the team just generate ideas out of nowhere, because they all suck, give them the data first and then find ideas based on this data. They can't all suck. What we need is a meaningful partnership. And this will be our fourth recommendation. Season five was Axe's downfall. That's your answer to the fireside chat. You want to become a bank. He dreamt of becoming a medium-sized US bank. I want to become a bank. A bit like Silvergate or Silicon Valley Bank or First Republic. It was never a good idea. We nailed it for sure. But a new opportunity arose. We should do it again. Turn Macecap into an impact fund. In itself, ESG or impact funds are a very common strategy, not an edge. But it can become one by combining it with ESG datasets. There are numerous data points to consider. Taylor can combine that with a quantitative approach, demonstrate the quantitative ESG impact and rating of the fund, or find new quantitative signals to improve risk-adjusted returns. There's so much money out there and so much possibility to make a change. We finalized the recommendation and we're gonna sum them up here. And like previous season, this time Axe Capital can access advanced data collection and analysis tools. By finding a new information advantage based on public web data, they can go back to their roots and they can leverage new opportunities in trading, in private markets and impact investing. For our consulting, we will just get a performance fee. So our interests are perfectly aligned with those of Axe Capital. Thanks for lots of watching. If you have other ideas that Axe Capital should implement in season seven in order to win, please comment below or let me know what you thought about the suggestion in this video.